Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a pretty special video for you guys. This is the first part of my GTA 3 series. Now recently I did Liberty City Stories and I finished it and I was thinking about what game to do next and I was thinking, why don't I do GTA 3? Because GTA 3 takes place three years after Liberty City Stories, so Liberty City Stories was a prequel to GTA 3. Now GTA 3, um, this is really the first GTA game that really started to take off. The other ones were popular, but this is where Grand Theft Auto really started to get it get its fame when they started to transition into the 3D world and you had the big open world. People loved it, stealing cars, exploring the map, you know, causing chaos. So this is where, you know, GTA really started to take off. This was in 2001. So let's do it right now then. We'll, we'll also be playing the PS4 version here and we'll be do, playing this on the PS5. So let's do it. Also, um, I got my Claude jacket here, as you guys can see. And here we go, the start of GTA 3, the bank robbery. Yes, Claude. Sorry, babe, I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. And if you guys are wondering, is that Catalina from San Andreas? Yes, that is. That is the same Catalina. And this is actually nine years after San Andreas. So San Andreas is in 1992. This is in 2001. But chronologically, the first time we saw Catalina was in San Andreas. But the first time us gamers really saw her was in GTA 3. So GTA 3 came out before San Andreas. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Now this is the Colombian cartel. Senor Dickhead, there's no problem to kill you. Now the Colombian cartel, they haven't You're come to break you fall. out. Um, they came out to break out um, this guy right here. Make sure to remember him later on. That guy is going to be really important later on in the story. Aye, aye, get lost. Callahan Bridge is destroyed once again. In GTA 3, it was being rebuilt. I mean, GTA Liberty City Stories was being rebuilt, and then GTA 3 gets destroyed. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Here we go. 
And um, this guy right here, this is actually 8-Ball. You guys might remember him from Liberty City stories. He is the same guy who actually provided Tony with the explosives to destroy Fort Staunton. And so, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, who've never seen this game before, who do you play as in this game? You play as Claude. Um, Claude is a very mysterious character. He's the most mysterious GTA protagonist. I also think he's the scariest GTA protagonist. I think Claude's even scarier than Trevor, personally. But anyways, about Claude is what's pretty scary about him is that he's very unpredictable. Um, he doesn't speak either. It's unknown why he doesn't speak. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. And here we go, Claude's infamous jacket right now. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over. Now imagine how weird it would be if I decided to roleplay Claude and I didn't speak at all during the playthrough. <laughs> you know, that'd be kind of weird, right? This is Luigi's club. Let's go around the back and use the service door. So now Luigi, he's a capo regime in the Leone family. He didn't appear in Liberty City Stories, but Wait he now here, runs man. the, um... Well, I go in and talk to Luigi. He runs the, uh, the club in the Red Light District. Say hello to 8-Ball, ladies. 8-Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. And um, the thing about it is that a lot of Sopranos voice actors, they actually voice a lot of the characters in, um, in the GTA games. And so whenever I hear Luigi talk, I just think of Ralph Cifaretto from the Sopranos, because that's the same guy who plays as Ralph plays as Luigi. I forgot the actor's name, uh, somebody probably knows in the comments, but that's the same guy who plays as Ralph in, um, in the Sopranos. There we go, that's the first mission right there. Luigi's a very generous boss that he gives Claude $1,500 just for picking up Misty that's like a few blocks away and driving her back to the club. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. This is new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. And so this is going to be Claude's first official murder in GTA 3. And uh, for people that are confused, what is Spank? Um, Spank in um, GTA 3, that's a parody off of crack cocaine. So it's um, uh, it's GTA's parody of crack. And it's like a white powdery substance. It's so obvious it's a parody of crack. Okay, so let's go kill the drug dealer. Oh, 
Oh. Hey, baby. Okay, we take drug dealer's car now. Maggie. And we get this resprayed. Now we just take the car to Luigi's lockup. Why not go get a monkey chocolates and hygiene products if she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size And don't worry about me getting copyright. Um, head radio and lips, for the most part, um, you can't get a copyright claim for that. Um, my friend told me that, so I, I always like playing some tunes while I'm driving in the car and doing missions. Now, like I was saying, this is the hardest GTA game in my opinion. Um, in terms of story, the combat is just difficult, and a lot of the and a lot of the missions are really hard, especially later on. Right now, it might seem like the missions are easy because they're just drive from point A to point B, but trust me, the missions later on, especially at Fort Staunton, they get really difficult. Right on a combo. What am I gonna do? Wait. Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Okay, so this is gonna be the mission where we now meet um, Joey Leone. We need a car. Let's take this car then. Okay, now on to Joey's garage. And and here's the strange thing, um, guys. Um, Joey, despite being the Don's son, he makes no appearances in Liberty City Stories. His garage is there, but he makes no actual appearances. I always found that strange about Liberty City Stories. I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? It's kind of funny how Claude doesn't talk, and yet, like, <clears throat> all the characters, they just know to, like, um, they know to give him work, and they're like, oh, you're reliable, you get things done. And this Claude, by not even speaking, like, one word throughout the whole story, works his way up through the whole criminal underworld of Liberty City. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnon Nation opposite the subway. 
So now, um, the Diablos are a, r a rival gang of the Leones. Um, uh, they control Hepburn Heights. And the Diablos, um, if you guys remember, it, Liberty City Stories, this is one thing that they explain really well, is that the tensions with the Diablos and the Leones have always been really high. They went to war in 1998, um, and that was because Massimo um, tried to get them and the Triads um, and other families to go to war with the Leones, so that they could take the Leones' turf. So that's why the Leones have a major problem with the Triads and with the Diablos. And um, if anyone, uh, on, when, when a gangster says a piece in like a movie or a game, a piece is a reference to a gun, so it's like a slang term for a street word for a gun, so when you hear, hear piece, just know that means a gun. Now this mission, this is the first mission where people can actually die, because one of the guys in the car actually has a shotgun, which can actually be really deadly. So what I like to do is I just ram the car, I wait till they stop, and then I just run both of them over. There we go. I know that might sound kind of cheap, what I did there, but the thing is, though, is that, like I was saying, this game is the is the hardest GTA, in my opinion, and when the enemies have shotguns, that's like the most dead, dangerous gun that they can have. The enemies with the shotguns in this game, they can kill you so quickly. Also, the M16s. So whenever you see enemies with M16s or shotguns, just be careful, because they can rip you apart so quickly. This guy right here, you know who this guy is? That's Mickey. Remember him from Liberty City Stories? That's Salvatore's personal hitman. Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan He's Luigi's Bridge. bodyguard in this one. some old school action. Now I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their grain. Mickey is the same guy who whacked JD in Liberty City Stories. That guy in the purple suit. Okay, um, I'm gonna need a car with four doors um, for this one. Taxi right here, taking this. you guys something strange about GTA 3 um in this game there is no um uh, there's no passengers I believe in cars only on missions so only on missions will people get into your car as passengers but I don't think there's any NPC vehicles with passengers I could be wrong but I don't think there is and also what do you guys think of my Claude jacket um uh, I tried to I tried to buy a jacket that resembled Claude the best that I could. I think this one's pretty accurate to his, but um, let me know what you guys think in the comments if the jacket's good. Um, now, I wonder if you get a bonus in this mission for picking up all of the girls, because I think you only need four girls, and the mission will, uh, yeah, and then the timer will eventually run down to zero and you pass it. But Luigi's missions are really easy. Um, uh, they're not, they're not that big of a deal. Joey's missions start getting a little harder, but they're not that bad either. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, there's just two more girls left to pick up. There we go. I wonder if you get a bonus for delivering everyone there. Oh, you don't. Okay. But uh, one thing you guys will notice, this GTA 3, the, the payouts in the missions are actually really good. So a lot of the missions in GTA 3, they have very generous payouts. They pay you much more than Liberty City Stories or San Andreas or other titles. But um, that was all of um, Luigi's missions there, so I guess we'll probably wrap it up here on this part, um, and next part we'll be doing Joey Leone's missions. So thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys on the next one, I love playing these nostalgic games for you guys, and I'll have next part as soon as I can. If you guys do enjoy this um, series, please do drop a like because it does help the series out, and I'll see you guys on the next one, take care everyone. Mm -hmm.